I'm happy to greet you at our event, the International Youth Conference Economic Reform in Ukraine Liberal Approach. Uh, this event is hosted by the Center for Democratic Renaissance and supported by the Fund of Free Development Foundation for Foundation for Freedom. We will start from you. Uh, my name is Alex. Uh, I'm French. I'm from Bordeaux in France, but I, I live in, uh, in Brussels, in Belgium. Um, I'm a uh, member of um, uh, Molinami Economic Institute. My main aim of uh, being here um, is to get to know the liberal youths uh, in my country and in the region and in Europe. And speaking about liberalism, uh, basically the liberal idea as itself, if we apply it to international trade for instance, um, argues uh, um, uh, that, that, that the economy and the corporation should be totally liberalized, which entails the free movement of goods, free movement of services, free movement of capital, and free movement of people. <laughs> and basically, currently, we, uh, we have, um, uh, we, our world is not perfect yet, it's not yet liberal, because people have restrictions on travel, and they, there are visa restrictions. So basically, people from the developing countries cannot travel to the developed countries, as, for instance, Ukrainians cannot go to the EU, and they're very much restricted. Hopefully, this issue will be sorted out soon, and we will all be able to travel easily, and this is where the mushroom world comes, uh, comes into, because mushrooms, for me, represent Amsterdam, and Amsterdam is a city of, <laughs> of liberalism, so to say. So once the visas are lifted, all of us can go to, to Amsterdam and enjoy our time, and there's also mushrooms, whatever they have there for us. That's it. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about uh, important issues of uh, liberalism, and of course there are many words for that. Uh, if you talk about uh, uh, liberalism in America, of course, you talk about rather socialist approaches, and Obama is considered to be one of the most uh, liberal presidents ever in the history of the United States. And we, of course, do not consider him to be the guy who supports uh, freedom of choice in very many areas. Uh, that is why we'll talk about the issues in classical liberalism and libertarianism. You can learn from each other, that's important. Like, you know, I'm good at something, you're good at something, we're good at something, and if we all put heads together, we can all be great projects. Uh, my speech will be about Estonia. I uh, really mm, think that it is one of the most successful countries from uh, Eastern Western Europe, Eastern uh, Central Europe, uh, sorry, for uh, creating business environment, uh, creating, uh, for making reforms uh, uh, to be a very liber liberal country. To import something, you have to ex export something. To import something value-added, you have to export something value-added. In the other case, you would have what the guy told. 5% uh, of, of, of the people rich and 95% want to, uh, to, 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 to go out of this country. How to implement the travel pension system to those people who are uh, at the retirement age now. And uh, I would like to hear some comments, uh, your point of view on the uh, Scandinavian economic model. Probably I won't, I will skip uh, Scandinavia right oh, now because you will just eat me instead of lunch. <laughs> in order to stimulate investors to put their money into our country and uh, reduce costs of producing energy. Uh, that's why we advocate private ownership uh, of energy companies. It includes uh, oil drilling, it includes producing electricity, it includes coal mining and so on. The foreign uh, company which wants to come and build military base it, it does, does not have such right by the way, as well as a local company, because government is uh, responsible for military and all those stuff. So, like, no, not, not a single company can, can do that for security reasons. And we believe that liberalism is not limited freedom, but freedom limited by the rights of others. So 
So in order to secure the rights of others and national security and safety, we should impose some restrictions upon the use of land. States is not a system. It mm -hmm. should be a partner of every people and every young people or pensioner or whatever. Mm -hmm.